In this video, we'll look at how we can add related posts that become a slider only if needed. Here there are only two related posts, so we have a horizontal flex layout. As we shrink down to mobile, there are posts out of view, so the slider becomes active. For this demo, we have a number of food posts split into different categories. On the single post template, we want to show an unknown number of related posts. It's an ideal situation for activating a slider conditionally. In our post template, we have the post title, a taxonomy element showing the category, and the post content. Let's first set up our pro slider, then set up the related posts, and lastly we'll make the slider conditional. We'll use a query loop just on the first slide. For now, let's just show all the posts. For the slider layout, we want a maximum of three showing for desktop, then two. Then one. Let's change the dot color. And add in the featured images. Let's view on the front. Now let's limit this to only show related posts. For this, we'll change the query loop for the slides. Instead of all posts, we just want the related posts. Related by category. And increase the maximum. If we view a post from the easy category, there will be plenty of related posts. With a healthy post, there are only two. We can see it looks strange as a slider when there aren't enough posts to fill the space. It also looks strange when smaller, as there is still nowhere to move the slider. 
For mobile, it looks good as a slider. We can solve this with the Pro Sliders Conditional Slider feature. Let's pick a centered alignment to match the centered layout. Now when we view the post, we have a centered flex layout, the pagination dots and arrows are hidden and the slider functionality is disabled. This remains true until the slider is needed. And there we have our conditional slider.